So, welcome to the British Motor Museum here in Gaydon. Uh, first thing I found, this lovely MGF, VIN number 251. Potentially, early prototype? So look, the first of the line, wow. Beautiful. You won't find one in this good, Nick. Looks like we've got Ford Anglia. Anglia, I think Kevlar is there, right? Ford Zodiac. Capri, I think. Granada. Granada Mark II. RS200. Homogation Special. Parked very closely to a Sierra Sapphire Cosworth 4x4. Uh, Ford, is that a, is that a, one of the rally ones? Fiesta XR2, the Focus ST170, fast becoming a uh, modern classic. Hard to find these days, fast forwards will always fetch a lot of money. Ah. Here's the section that I've been looking forward to, the prototype series. Ah, oh, one-offs, one of a kinds. The Austin Zander styling model, wow, can you imagine if Austin made that? Blimey, one-off prototype concept car. Oh, look at the back. Oh, that is amazing. Beautiful. Oh, God. So, <laughs> Austin went through, a, I won't go through the whole history, but Austin went through this massive upheaval of trying to find a replacement for the Mini. This is one of them. This is what the Mini could have evolved into. Amazing. Not sure what some of these actually are. Tiny old thing. Gold metallic paint. Look at the metal fleck in that. Wow. There's a Crompton Leyland electric car. Oh. Vauxhall Chevette look about the front there. The Mini 9X hatchback prototype. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, now this, this is an interesting one, the Triumph Lynx. So this was going to be the replacement for the Stag, which is why it's quite interesting to me. Left-hand drive prototype, interesting. Yeah, this was going to uh, be the replacement for the Stag at some point. Never came to market, but I think that's absolutely fantastic. I think that would have done very well. Should put the dents in the back, but... I think it's the only one of its kind. Amazing car. Very swoopy looking orange thing here. I don't know what it is. Nineteen seventy eight Triumph Link, so the year after the stag ended production. Vauxhall XVR concept. Got Vauxhall with Oh, what headlights, a little wink. The Mini Twin E Moke, twin engine prototype Moke, bloody hell. And an Austin Ant. Adapt the Mini design for a lightweight utility vehicle. What would go on to become the Mini Moke, I guess? The Road Rover Series 1 prototype. I have never heard of this. What the hell? Wow, so I guess this is what would have become a Range Rover. This is the Road Rover. This is just a Land Rover series for the road. That's incredible. Oh God, yeah, very, very road going Rover. You can see the Queen in this, I imagine. Incredible one-off prototype, I love that. What I believe is up here is an MG prototype, but I don't know what. Oh, the MG EXE, which sounds like a computer file. Another MG sports car that never came to be. 
Unfortunately, it's all the way up there and I can't get a really good look at it, but it's a ah, 1985 MGXE prototype. A little, little Leyland Roadster. Not sure. Oh, the MG Mini ADO60. See, people say, oh, Mini should just be a Mini, it shouldn't branch out to all these other things. They were going to make a Roadster. And apparently this is another one as well, ADO34 MG Mini. Look at that. It's definitely got the MG look about it. How did I miss this? It's a Vauxhall, what is this? SRV concept. Good God, Vauxhall, what? On it. In the 70s, look at that. 1970. That's incredible. Of course, it had the Union Jack on it. I mean, they were owned by Opel at the time, but we'll gloss over that. Incredible. Turbine car, gas turbine saloon. The Rover T4, 1961. Rover BRMs, you Rover were, were adamant they were going to be a racing company, I guess. Isn't there any Granada? Oh, Cortina. Cortina B0. Over there we've got a Metro. Reliance Scimitar GTE. I think my dad had several of these. He'll be able to confirm that. But... The Wolsey. Bad engineering at its finest as British Lanes. Wolsey 2200. Little Reliant Royal Mail Van. Reliant Regal Super Van 2. Ooh, Jaguar XF Racing Prototype. XF RV8. Blimey. Incredible. Patty hell. S Type Diesel. This is a Land Rover Series 1, 86 inch Royal Ceremonial Vehicle. That's a hell of a black finish on that one. Oh, of course, had the uh, podium seating in the back. For their majesties, I imagine. But still a Land Rover. <laughs> Little flagpole. What's this one? Series 1 80-inch station wagon with what looks like a dinner bell on top. Range Rover Range Stormer concept. Now the North American Motor Show. I'm guessing this is what previewed the Evoque. Or the Range Rover Sport. Oh, wow. Concept car interior. So pink army Land Rover up there. Ooh. Defender concept from 1999, Land Rover SVX concept. Extreme off-roading, as if they weren't extreme enough already. Early Range Rover. God, is that a Land Rover? City cab on earth? Good God, that's when Land Rover had money to burn. It's like something out of Judge Dredd. Wait, it's not, is it? 1995, it is from Judge Dredd. Designed for the film. No wonder. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Amazing looking thing. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed that RDX 60 isn't out. I'm so looking forward to seeing RDX 60 in the flesh. I'll have to come back just for that. MGZTT. Some sort of 
modified version there that looks like it's gas powered. CGC Hypermiler. It is the ZTT speed record car. Wow. 226 miles an hour on an MG ZTT. Fastest estate in the world. Oh my god. MG Metro 6R4. I had a Skeletrix this Skeletrix of this as a kid. And this I loved this. Absolute bonkers hyper hatch. Computer vision, interesting. MG speed record car, interesting. The last classic mini. Wow, from 2000. I like the interior on these actually. Because they're somewhat modern. It's very nice. Oh god, DMC DeLorean from Back to the Future. I don't like them. Not a fan. Half a Nissan Leaf. Is it half as good? It's not bad. Look, it's uh, Bobby, um, Crichton. A hypermile hydrogen car. Uh, so this is the uh, Ford Thunderbird stretch from uh, the Thunderbirds remake or movie. Yep, 2004, Fab One, limousine movie car. They actually built it. Size of it. It's absolutely the size of a lorry. It's enormous. Two seater. God, look at that. Oh. This is one of the cars that could have saved Rover. Scale model of the R30. The hatchback that could have saved Rover. Absolutely incredible. So that was a look around the uh, British Smoke Museum. Absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see more kind of videos like this and we'll uh, see you the next one. Bye.